hot out and I need a cold drink. We are going to get fresh mint from the garden. You know that you've lived in the Bay Area for too long when it's 78 degrees out and you think it's too hot. Got it. Really ready for this cocktail. Last summer, I introduced you to the cocktail category, the smash. Just the perfect summer cocktail. Well, here's another one. This drink is sort of like if a mint julep and a Sazerac tried to wrestle in a strawberry field. It's a special one for me because I created it pretty early on in my industry career. When I was just a bright-eyed and bushy-tailed 25-year-old for a restaurant called Juhu Beach Club. We had just gotten our liquor license and I was really excited to be involved in the cocktail program. I hadn't really done any bartending before this, but I loved to cook and I'd taken a bartending class and I loved playing with mixing liquor together, as any 25 year old does. I designed this cocktail around an existing non-alcoholic beverage that we already had at the restaurant called Nimbu Pani, which is more or less Indian lemonade. That is the version that's in the cookbook. The Sorry Not Sorry, that's what we call the drink, is a seasonal drink since we don't have locally grown strawberries all year. This cocktail is a group front of house effort. Credit for this concoction goes to JBC server Liv. Naming rights to server Sophie. Today we'll make a more simplified version of this drink. To get the original version, you'll need to get the cookbook. My hand is modeled in there somewhere. See if you can find it. To start, you'll need to squeeze some lemons and strain them. And you'll also need to cut up a strawberry. I'm gonna throw a couple of mint leaves in the cocktail shaker and put my strawberry in there. We'll save this extra strawberry and this mint sprig for our garnish. I utilize the classic three, two, one of a sour. Three parts bourbon, AKA one and a half ounces. Work very well. Two parts lemon juice, three quarter ounce. And one part simple syrup, half an ounce. Couple drops of absinthe. We use locally made absinthe from St. George Spirits. Something like an eighth of an ounce. Ice. Drain so that your ice stays inside of the cocktail shaker and goes on to new ice and you can top it off with soda water, mint spray, cheers. Mm. So good still. Everything you wanna drink on a hot summer day in your backyard after work. which is what I'm about to go do right now. Hope you enjoyed this short and sweet, well, not too sweet, 
just the right amount of sweet. Little cocktail video. Happy summer. Cheers. I'll see you in the next one. Now if only my yard wasn't in such shambles.